Hello and welcome to the Charles River Parklands show. My name is Renata von Charner. I'm with the Charles River Conservancy. And we are very lucky we have two guests today who are, have been spending a lot of time along the Charles thinking of how um, best to take care of that riverfront. So let's welcome our guests and then listen of, about the plans for the riverfront on the Cambridge side. We have Roger Booth here, who is the Director of Urban Planning, and Stuart Dash, welcome, Director of Community Planning. So we have a lot of um, planning experience here with you, and we're very lucky to have you here. And we would love for you to tell us what the City of Cambridge and the Community Development Department is up in terms of planning and continuing the efforts that were started by the MDC, which is now the DCR. Um, in terms of um, looking at the riverfront. So I'll give it over to you, Stuart, okay. to, to tell us of what this planning effort is all about. Thanks very much, Renata. Uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, our community planning staff walked out on the Charles, and it's about, it was about the 100-year mark of the origins of the, the Charles River Basin, and started to think about some of the, the opportunities that the Charles River presents as a terrific, uh, could be a terrific place for the citizens of Cambridge, and it already is in many ways. Um, most often used as a place where people bicycle along, walk along, and move along in a linear fashion. And what we see now is a possibility that we really could start to make it a place of destination, a place where there's small eddies of activity, a place where you not only can take the kind of um, necessary trips that you might take to, to go from place to place, but where you might have a trip that becomes a social place, it becomes a place where you might go to picnic, you might go with friends, um, and you might go to do some specific kind of activity on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And we walked um, sort of every inch, as you said, every inch of the Charles, uh, uh, a number of our staff, and, and sort of mused about what could happen here, what could, here's a place that maybe could be a food kiosk, in this place maybe there could mm -hmm. be a picnic table, in this place maybe could be a, a boat landing. Um, and this place we could combine with um, uh, places around the around the uh, uh, riverfront. Yeah. Um, we also started to talk about sort of the kinds of um, opportunities that we had. Do you and want me to you switch to the images? Yeah, please do. All right. So this is this is the, the way the plan presents itself of the various places along and the river. And this plan is on our website. As we'll give the website address uh, later on. And we talked about it in three ways, and we'll continue as uh, Roger and I talk about it. Uh, the first way is the opportunities uh, for act for activation of the riverfront, the kind of whether it's recreation or small informal activity. The second way is looking at um, opportunities for connection to the river, and we think a lot about how do our residents get down to the river in a way that feels not only safe but also enjoyable, um, and how do our not only residents but visitors and, and, and employees of the, in the city use the river. And the third piece that we'll talk about is the development along the river. And there's not a ton of opportunities, but there are many opportunities that will come up over the years that we also talked about and said, what, uh, how can we make it so the best outcome occurs as part of that? And I, I, you'll be looking at the picture here left, which is actually in Boston, but it would be nice if eventually Cambridge would have a place where you can really get to the water. And I think that is, might be something that you have in mind, and that's why this picture shows right. us of the possibilities. Right, and actually getting down to the water sheet is a big part of what we think about. So as we go through this show, we broke the riverfront going from east to west into segments, mostly following from bridge to bridge, and uh, going uh, starting with the first three segments. Roger Booth will take us through A, B, and C, uh, starting over at the North Point area of the city. Thanks, Stuart. Um, in this image, uh, you see those areas A, B, and C going from North Point on the left of this image um, with the East Cambridge Riverfront in the center of the uh, image um, up to the Longfellow Bridge, and then you see the highways out into the river as you go towards the uh, MIT frontage. And it's nice to kind of look at those areas um, connected because we're going to take them apart in sort of an artificial way, and as Stuart said, there's an interest in trying to make a continuity along the river even as we look at all the, the smaller pieces of it. Another thing about this image is that it shows how much energy is right along the river going from North Point again in the far uh, left to the East Cambridge uh, Riverfront where there's the Cambridge Site Galleria, 
Kendall Square near the Longfellow Bridge and the MIT campus. So uh, as Stuart said, we're trying to find ways to get people from those areas down to the river. So the uh, presentation really is uh, going to take you along again fr from uh, east to west. And in this map, uh, the red arrow on the right is the farthest east you can get in Cambridge. That's the uh, arrow which signifies where a new uh, pedestrian bridge is uh, underway that will connect from the new North Point Park over towards uh, Charlestown and eventually the Boston Harbor. So these red arrows, as you see them on the uh, plans, are all talking about links, places where we'd like to get from one place to another better. The green asterisks um, indicate either parks that we'd like to see uh, built or uh, improved, and the purple asterisks uh, indicate areas where private development might be constructed in a way that could tie into the river. And finally, the blue asterisks show water-related uses that we'd like to see happen. Can we just, uh, for a moment, step back? I think what in this particular area in North Point, which very few people know, it's still a, <laughs> a well-kept secret and, and has a wonderful potential. Um, right now, it's very um, isolated. And I mm -hmm. think what your plan is, is to really link that Absolutely. park more with, with the rest of Cambridge and also with Charlestown, and these bridges will do that. Just a few years ago, this area was part of what was referred to as a lost half mile, because no one could get to it. It was always an industrial use, and now it's quite a transformation to see something like the beautiful new North Point Park and the say Kim Bridge and now you know where the river goes out and meets the harbor and yeah. it's still not always easy to get there but it's getting better. And you've been involved in planning that last half mile for <laughs> how many how many decades uh, Roger? Uh, quite a while. Quite a while, <laughs> yes. So let's now want to move on to that. Do you want to Let me just finish with this things. one by uh, pointing out that um, uh, we're also looking to connect um, uh, the uh, Leachmere Canal Park along, potentially along the front of the uh, Museum of Science. And in your, the map we're looking at, you see over towards the left, there's a blue asterisk. We'd love to see water use down there. And the red arrow right near that is, uh, is indicating that there's long been an idea about having a walkway along the face of that uh, garage of the Museum of Science. So if we go to the next uh, image, we can see the uh, uh, beautiful North Point Park in the upper image that was just done a couple years ago and still um, new to a lot of people and, and needs to get um, incorporated into people's mental maps. And then on the right, we see the, uh, an early model of um, the Charles River Conservancy Skateboard Park, which is uh, right up in this area, and we'd love to see that happening. And then in the lower uh, left, is an image of people walking along North Point towards, you may not be able to see it, but that's this is a Keene Bridge in the far distance there. And ultimately, there's uh, going to be a, a, a 